All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim, first and foremost, let to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the world, and He calls Jesus Christ. Let the devil honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone, who go out and tell me the truth according to the Bible, and Shalom to the brothers out there without the four guns of earth, pushing His word, and our righteousness, and sincerely, Shalom, okay? Brother Kazapa from the DC Church come back with another quick lesson. Do this prayer in part. We have Bashim Al Mashai. And, um, you know, just want to get this scripture fast because I was thinking about it. Okay. Uh, let's see. The scriptures say, you know, to be diligent, make your calling. Okay. An election, sure. Okay. Let's get that scripture. Calling. Uh, it's like. Let's see, slack you. Yeah. You know, because you know we're supposed to be diligent in this truth. Okay, Let's see, diligent. There we go. Call in. All right. This is a uh, Second Peter chapter one, verse ten, and it says, "Where." Wherefore, the rather brethren, so this is talking to the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the believers, okay? It's not only just for the brothers, okay, but for the sisters also, okay? All right, you count too. You got to you gotta do what you got to do, okay, to make it, all right? It says, wherefore, it says, wherefore, the rather brethren, but it starts with the men. It says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, okay? It says, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall, okay? But making what di diligence, all right, to make your calling and the election sure, all right? Because Lord's will, we want to be a part of the elect of the nation of Israel, the ones that are slotted from the beginning of time, okay? From the beginning to make it, to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and to make it in these times, okay? To be delivered from Babylon the Great and throughout the four corners of the earth. But it says to give diligence now. When you get this keyword diligence, okay, all right, hence the title of the lesson. What is diligence, man? Okay, it says diligence, this is constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. So, what we're supposed to what with the uh, uh, earnest effort, okay, all right, to accomplish the mission that we've been on, okay, and the mission is to endure into the end, okay. All right, those that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. The continue in the faith of Yahweh, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, continue. All right, it says constant it means it's continuous. Okay, it says earnest effort. Now let's get this word earnest. Okay, this word earnest is the adjective, which means it's describing the person. Okay, all right. So when we're diligent, we're going to be what constant, meaning continual and earnest. Effort. Now, what what type of effort is that? An earnest effort. What is earnest? It says here. It's an adjective. It says a serious or grave in speech or action. Okay, that means what? You're deadly serious. Okay, this truth is deadly serious. It says zealous, serious, seriousness, serious intent. Meaning your intentions. Okay, your intent is very serious. Okay. You know, we got to break down these words for Jake. What a series. It says, and arranged in a sequence, okay, you ordered your way of right, okay? Scriptures tell you to what? Order your way of right with the Lord, okay? It says, expressing earnest or what serious purpose of thought and resolve. So everything that you do is is with a point. There's a, there's a reason behind it, okay? All right? And so what's another one? It says, serious intent. Now, what does the word intent mean? Say what intent? It says purpose. Okay, so you have an aligned goal. Okay, an aim, a purpose, and what is that? The kingdom of heaven. Okay, being joint rulers with our Lord Yahweh Shai, and that takes a certain mind frame. That Satan takes a certain uh, a type of uh, action and and um to take to action to take the duty. Okay, all right. Which what is the whole duty? Of an Israelite man, especially in these times. Okay, let's get that scripture. What is our duty in these times? How do we give diligence and make our call and election sure? Okay, by taking heed to our duty. Now, what is our duty? Let's get that. 
Um, Sloppy it is Ecclesiastes 12. I believe so. The stock is Ecclesiastes 12, verse uh, 13 says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So, when you wrap everything up, okay, when you make your calling and election sure, okay, when you um, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, that, that what? That constant, continual, earnest, deadly, serious effort, okay, with intent, meaning everything is done purposely. For to get you to the end, okay? The Lord's will be a part of the elect. All right, what's the conclusion of that, okay? That what you fear, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, okay? This is the whole duty of the Israelite man, woman, and child, all right? So called Negro, Latino, and Native American, man, woman, and child, okay? And the Israelite foreigner that looked like the other heathen nations, but line lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? All right? How do how are the elect going to make it in the end? By what fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, keeping his commandments to the best of your ability and having faith. Okay, because when you fear the Lord, you you have faith. Okay, when you rehearse the righteous acts to the best of your ability, you have faith. You're doing all these things in faith and belief that the Lord is going to have mercy upon you in these days. Okay, so what? Continue to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, this is a deadly serious thing that we're in, and we have to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai constantly. All right, Lord's will, you know, that He keeps His Holy Spirit upon us all the way through the end until we get beamed up in those chariots. So, hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Just a quick little lesson to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, like I said, hopefully, it's edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. With that, until next time, let us give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and taught me the shoe according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the four corners of the earth, pushing his word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, say shalom.